Okay, the owner of the barbershop, which is on Grand River in Vicksburg, is, his name is? Robert Long. Robert Long, and he's very concerned about this building that we have been complaining about that has been unboarded, unsafe, and the, you can walk right on in, as we're about to do. Anyone can be dragged into this building. We are simply asking that either this building gets torn down, demolished, or give us boards and we will board this up ourselves. The address of this location is 8240 Grand River, formerly Greater Faith for Deliverance. It has been abandoned for at least five years. And this is the front of this building. And we can easily walk right on in. People have tagged the building. And we truly cannot do anything without the help of the city. When you allow things like this, then there is possibilities for all kinds of things to, to happen. And this is so sad. We have asked the city to do something about this building and nothing. We've been ignored. No, go down the street. Okay. Go! Yeah, can you imagine a child being up there and falling out or anyone being thrown out of this building? We are very concerned. We in this community are very concerned. This is only one of many buildings, but we're wondering, why is it? Another door simply can be opened and someone can be just pulled in. There are many young ladies that stand at this bus stop. They stand at this bus stop. abandoned building. This is what we have to look at. But downtown, midtown, harbor town, court town, those are being taken care of. But this is what we have to look at. And you can't tell us that this is because the people don't care. If you don't take care of downtown, Cork Town, all those other towns, then this is what happens. 
But here is what we're wondering. When space gets too small for downtown and all those other towns, are you going to come here and then tear down these buildings? Is that why these buildings are just being left abandoned and opened to the elements? Here's another side of this building. It is a shame. That's the one I was talking about. That yeah. was tagged. That, that was tagged. Tag. And they tore that one that was beside it down last summer. So they left that little. This one right here yeah. is tagged. It's tagged. The one that for I'm we're for demolition. Mm -hmm. This needs to be demolished. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, that too. This is awful. Yeah, if you're gonna tear stuff down, keep do it right and do it good. I mean, I mean, we see this all day, every day. But who's coming out here to fix, to tear it down? They got people down here that need jobs. They can employ men to just do this kind of work. You know. You were talking about the grass, also. Yes, the grass, the lots that doesn't get cut but once a summer, and it's usually after all the holidays. And you take it on your own, just like I do, yeah. to cut that particular yeah, lot across lot. the street from your my business, your business, which is located where? Eighty-one forty-six Grand River, Island Barbershop. Okay, so across the street, you make sure to cut that lot, and then you said that. And where I shovel it. I mean, I. Okay, so wait a minute. I, I cleaned up in front of this church. This okay, summer, but this the contractor comes once a summer. Saw that you had cut it. And, and they didn't have to do anything. Right. And they got paid for, for it. it. And I'd like to know who the contractors are. I mean, if they always say, we got to take care of our community and give us some work. Give us some work. I can get guys in this community to cut that on a monthly basis. And there are many a lots over here that need cutting. You and I have cut half this area between where you live and where I live without me and you Without and I, a dime. Without a dime. Get and so money. now we want yeah, money you're if you're going to pay. Somebody. That's, That's right. They've told me this, those things are contracted out. And the city only cuts the what they call the divider in the middle. The city will come out and cut the divider in the middle and then you lay off city workers. I mean, there's jobs here for city people to work. They can just manifest better uh, workmanship. All this work can be done by people in the city of Detroit. That's right. Thank you so much oh, I am so for glad doing that you what came you do. Because you, you are a person to fight for this kind of stuff. So you're the right person for the job. I, I know and believe that you'll get something done. I do. Thank you. Because we got to get this done. We really do. Nobody's going to help save us but us. But us. But us. <laughs> but we also need some big materials and, 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 and just, tools. And help. You know, there's 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 programs that's helping all the other communities. Why not put them in communities that's trying to help their community? That's right. You know, Thank you again.